Hello guys and welcome to the platform once again and um, in this um, episode I'm going to review um, Tottenham Spurs versus Chelsea, the Carabao Cup semi-final game at the Tottenham Hospital Stadium. Yeah, if it happens to be your first time um, of engaging me on this um, episode, please do all to hit the subscribe button, touch the notification bell, share the program to as many viewers as possible, smash the like button if you enjoy my presentation, and then on Facebook, uh, as I now do on Facebook, do well to follow me as well as um, give likes and comment as well. And thank you very much for um, those who have been sharing the videos uh, on Facebook, um, yeah, I have uh, your names there. We're keeping the track of it, more sharing. We expect more people to be sharing, hopefully. And um, there will be a time that we're going to do justice by having our prices for that. Thank you very much for the support. You've been supporting the channel all this while. And um, it was um, a game that Chelsea controlled um, from um, the start of the game. And... Um, uh, invited um, Spurs to play the game. Obviously, you knew prior to the second leg, um, Chelsea uh, had two goals lead from the first leg, and so they didn't want to stress themselves. And um, it was the honors light on Spurs to play the game on to Chelsea. And um, Spurs uh, did their best, but um, they failed to break down the defense of um, Chelsea, led by Commander Antonio Rudiger. Yeah, Antonio Rudiger in fantastic shape. They no wonder he got the goal in the 18th minute, 18th minute of um, the game. It was um, a, a, a game of tactical battles once again. Remember going into this game, Chelsea um, had in mind the earlier kickoff on the Saturday against Man City, and um, Man City seems to have rested well, far enough than Chelsea, and. Um, so Chelsea is playing more games, and so that makes Man City favourites in this game. And secondly, we Chelsea is going to play Man City at the Etihad, and so you see uh, how Chelsea. Uh, that was why Chelsea relaxed the game and didn't want to forcefully um, go in gun blazing, and that was why carefully the chance that came most of the clear chances out of two, three chances that came Chelsea's way. Rudiger had to make do with the one he had. And um, if even Chelsea had not won the game, Chelsea would still have qualified because Tottenham Spurs needed to win the game. And it was also a game of tactical battles involving the 3-4-3 formation. Remember, the two coaches are the masters of the 3-4-3 formation. Now uh, in Europe, they are championing the 3-4-3 formation. But the difference here is that um, uh, Thomas Tuchel has been successful with the 3-4-3 formation in Europe, while Antonio Conte only does his 3-4-3 um, dom at domestic level. And so that's the difference. And um, when you look at the two variations and why uh, Thomas Tuchel uh, came out ahead of Antonio, ahead of uh, uh, Antonio Conte to beat him, is probably in Europe the a uh, clear diversification as well as variation with respect to the teams that you meet. You meet teams across Europe, whilst in league, you meet different teams all right, but of the same league. Hence, uh, sometimes the variation may not necessarily be in-depth as compared to that in Europe. And so, not surprising at all, um, when uh, Thomas Tuchel met Antonio Conte, he reverted to the 4-2-2-2 formation. And, um, Already, some people are trying to say the Manchester United coach, Ralph Rangnick, should copy Thomas Tuchel on how to use the 4-2-2-2 formation. And remember, um, Thomas Tuchel respects Ralph Rangnick a lot. He's some kind of his godfather. But the difference here is that Thomas Tuchel has implemented and won trophies in the Champions League that um, his um, quote and quote in uh, bracket, his boss, Rangnick, uh, has not won. Same as uh, Jorgen Jorgen Club of Liverpool. He was mentored by Ralph Rangnick of Manchester. This, uh, this current old Manchester United coach. He is a, a philosopher in terms of teaching, but maybe in terms of trophies, he's yet to show um, us what he's done. Anyway, I still respect him as a good tactician anyway. Well, never mind the um, uh, lesser uh, quality of trophies he's won when you compare him with um, Jagen Club and Thomas Tuchel. And so um, the, the football is also about numbers and trophies. That's why uh, normally my man Jose Mourinho always brags when you tend to question his um, tactical um, ability. He tends to bring his trophies on, on the table for you to see. So football is about trophies. So not surprising 
at all. And so it was a game that Chelsea really controlled it calmly, didn't want to force play in so many ways. And um, there's been some improvement with respect to some performances of most of the players. Um, Kepa Ariza Balaga, excellent ever since Edward Mendy left for the African Cup of Nations. He's been excellent. Malangsa also excellent. Though in December, I don't know, I didn't know where this form went to. Most of the players didn't play well. Now that January, we are in the transfer window. Most of the players, some of the players are trying to justify why Chelsea shouldn't go in for new players. Because in December, they disappointed the club big time. And I don't know now that whether maybe uh, what has come into them that they are playing so well. Quite surprising enough. Yeah. And um, let me look at um, the ratings of the team on the night against um, Tonamo Spurs. And um, Tonamo Spurs um, had some uh, VAR um, challenges on the night, and which I think the referee was spot on and had all decisions right. Remember, in the second instant, he even, the referee even awarded a penalty before his attention was drawn to the fact that he had to go to the VAR to check um, the decision again, which appeared that um, it was happening outside the 18-yard um, box. Hence, a free kick was um, played there, during which Aspil Equator had to adopt his um, uh, kneeling, uh, squatting defensive uh, methodology, whereby he was um, squatting downwards whilst the other players were standing there to defend the free kick there. Quite um, I ironic there. And um, Kepa uh, had 7.5 over 5, quite a good performance there. And um, the little um, opportunities that came uh, to him, um, he had tried. It was only the one that um, the goal that was disallowed through Georgino's mistake. Uh, and um, uh, um, Harry Kane capitalized and scored Chelsea. But he realized that uh, there was an offside. That was why the goal didn't stand. And um, Rudiger had nine. Rudiger, man of the match. He's, remember, he scored the goal. So, man of the match. Christensen, 8 over 10. Aspil Equator, 7.5. Um, already regarding Rudiger, Chelsea is now uh, talking uh, with Rudiger to uh, make him stay at the club. And Rudiger has expressed his interest of wanting to stay at Chelsea. And uh, we know um, uh, Rudiger wants to stay, but uh, only that Marina Granuskaya has to do the right thing and give Rudiger what he deserves. So we are not forcing um, the club to fuck out uh, so many money. Rudiger deserves it, and so the club should listen to Rudiger. Hopefully, we may reach a resolution, hopefully. Um, Aspil Equator, 7.5 over 10. Jorginho, 6.5 over 10. Jorginho, though we won, but he made some little, little mistakes. Jorginho is a good player, but he's not strong. That's my problem. And as a commander in midfield, you need to be strong. That's why people are always praising N'Golo Kante to some extent now, even Kovacic. So Jorginho, his physical aspect of the game is still lacking, but he's a good player, only that he's not strong. Mount, um, 7 over 10. Mount, I didn't see a whole lot from Macy Mount. Uh, Hudson Odoi, 8. Kyle Lukaku, 8. Timo Werner, 7.5, 7 uh, 7 over 10. And you could see from the game that um, Chelsea, when you look at the statistics, Chelsea had a lot of the possession. Yeah, I think we're talking about... Um, um, Chelsea getting 64% um, possession, while Tottenham Spurs had 36% possession. The passes, Chelsea uh, strung, strung 700 passes, while Tottenham Spurs strung 398 passes. And um, no yellow cards and no yeah, I, I read a red cast. And um, it was a clear game. There seven corner kicks for Tottenham Spurs, six for Chelsea. The 15 shots for Chelsea, three on target, and then 13 shots for uh, sorry, sorry, 15 shots for. Spurs, three on target, 30 shots for Chelsea, um, three on target, all um, equal there, a piece there. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, and so it was an entertaining end-to-end -end action of a game, and um, Chelsea really solidified their performance with that one-nil win in the 18th minute for, by Antonio Rudiger, hence making a three-nil aggregate win for Chelsea. Before I um, sign out of this presentation, if it happens to be your first time, on this platform, please, please, please do well to hit the subscribe button. It will boost the algorithm of the channel. Touch the notification bell, bell. Share the program to as many viewers as possible. Smash the like button if you enjoy my presentation. And then on Facebook, um, I've seen you all guys, those who are sharing. Yeah, I've seen you. Um, there's those guys there. I don't want to mention names. So, we, we, so thank you very much. And keep on sharing their videos for to reach as many uh, viewers 
as possible. And thank you very much for joining me. Cheers. I love you. Bye-bye.